Okay guys, hope you're ready for it. Uh, after we finish the website, we still have a little uh, piece code uh, for the max width. Now what the max width, if you see website on your phone or the tablet, we need to create a new website for the phone. But uh, don't worry, it's uh, easy and trust me, it's not too hard. I'll show you in the last lesson and you will learn it easy. Just relax and watch this part to on our website. Okay, if you visit the website, you see every website have a content or a link for uh, more pages or other thing, and they won't, and all, all of them have it. So I think you must create it for more pages to every user use it. Now let us start. After we finish our form pages, we go in HTML, and after end of the section, we create the last section. So to tell HTML we have a new page, which is a content, and create a section and press enter and give it a name and type a class and a press enter. Let at the same name be a content of his name. Okay, now inside it, uh, what we need, if you don't know what you must add, or sometime you see a nice website and you want to create a, like him. Always use a Chrome inspect to see how he created it, and you will create it easily if you see how we, what what is code he use it. Okay, first uh, logo, then the second is H1, or no, uh, yes H1. The third one is uh, we have a two link for uh, terms and the privacy. Okay, and the four item icon, and the four icon for the social media. Okay, let's add it with the same. Now, if you see this website, it have a two div first. Let's see our website. We see it have a two div and or two boxes. The first footer and the second footer. I think that's good. Let's do the same. Create a div and give it a name. Let me create it. Okay, I type a class and be a footer first. Let me add another div and I name it uh, footers account. Okay, good. Now inside the footer first, add the logo. Type h1 and press enter. Now let me add a text in, uh, instead of an image for the logo. Let be the same logo of our header. Okay, we add it. Next is h2 or h1 for the copyright. I type h2, let me type h2 and I press enter. Let me add the same text, let me copy it from the, this website. Okay, paste it. Next is a two link, uh, now type a and the press enter. Now let the source be, uh, not let, uh, let the href be empty. Uh, because we don't have a page yet for it and inside it be the same text. Let me copy it from the site. Terms. Okay. And the privacy and policy. Copy it and paste it. Okay, good. Next, uh, for icon link. But first, let's add a div because I want to add display flags to have uh, to be in the same line, not in another line. Now, as you can remember how display work, I create a div uh, to type a class a name. Let me type it uh, social for the name. Okay, inside it, if you have an icon, add the icon with the image and create a link for it. But I use icon online and uh, I go in an icon icon of this website. Let me go it to the website. Okay. Now, and add it, let me show you quick how to work. First, we need the JavaScript for the website to add an HTML code. And you see, it must be a back of a body, not a front it, not after the body. Okay. Now choose the icon, now choose the icon. Now click on it and now copy it and paste it in a VS Code. Let me copy it and paste it. Okay, uh, 
first one is whatsapp the second one is a uh, twitch third one is youtube and the fourth one is instagram now done we silent letter now let's go to uh, at the footer second the link we done our first footer and uh, i think i I think I added in a footer of second. I'm sorry. Let me add it in a social. Let me just uh, cut it and paste it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Good. Uh, let's continue. Good. As you can see, we have uh, text H4 and UL link. Let's add the same. But before that, for every part of a menu, let's create a div to add the width and be beautiful like this. Now to create a div and the color to cool. That'd be classy, be cool, okay. Next, inside it, type H4 and now press enter. Type in menu for the first one. And now type and now type a UL. Now inside it let be L I and press enter, okay. And now type A for the link okay okay good let me uh, add the three more of the a let me copy it and paste it okay good now before to add the text inside the h4 and the link copy this cool and paste it through two time to not uh, create again and uh, Okay, good. They will create it. And now inside H4, let me type a menu. I type it menu in the first. Now in a link, be a home. First is a home. Second is a plan. And the third one is a courses. And the fourth one is a more. Okay, good. The next uh, be a cool. Okay, next cool. Um, uh, H4 be a services. Services, yes. Now inside it, uh, link, uh, what, uh, web, a uh, web designer, let me copy it and paste it, web uh, code, payment, and help. Okay, good, now next, um, uh, more, okay, Photoshop, next one is uh, music. Third one is the games, and the fourth one is a template. Okay, done, and uh, good. We finish our HTML code. Now let's go to the style it. I go uh, to CSS first. Let me call it, uh, first of all, the content. Um, uh, let's see, he added padding custom instead of section. Okay, let me add the two. Let me add the same padding. Padding give you a 15 pixel for the top and 10% of the left and 10% of the left and uh, 115 pixel for the bottom and 10% for the right. Okay, good. Let's add the position relative to if any some if in some cases needed to uh, for use a position absolute, but I don't need the we need that, but let me add it. Now with the footer first, I call it in a CSS, now press enter, open a bracket, now inside it, uh, let's add a display flex, type a display flex. Okay, let the item be a center, so I add the justify content, be a center. Next, align item be a center, like always. Now, if I want to tell this div to not be a same line, if you remember, I added this, I add the flex direction. I add the flex direction code to not be a same line. So, type a flex direction and be column. And if you forget, you can go in a Chrome and inspect and see all the display way in a little square. And let's add the background. I just forget about the background. Let me add the background. Let me copy this. Background. Yes, I found it. And I'll copy it and paste it. That is the same background. Okay, done. 
Now let uh, color of the logo be the same and uh, let not change it. Let not change the font or anything. Uh, let's go to the next for the next two because it's big uh, the font and uh, let me call it in a css uh, footer first h2 you can uh, use h2 instead of footer first but let's add a custom for it okay font size b 14m font size font 4m okay font weight b uh, 500 and the color b Hashtag 8CDDD 4D Yeah, 4D Okay, good Let, uh, Let's go over to link Now the problem if you see two link in the same line If you see in the same line But it not, it's the same line I think, yeah Now let's add the font size for a link uh, Let me call it uh, footer first A now open a bracket, okay. Now the first of all of the font size uh, be uh, one uh, two rem. Font size one two rem. And the color be uh, hashtag f1 f1 f1. Be a white or custom doesn't matter. Good. Let me add a little little margin. Let add it to have a little distance a margin and press enter. Top and bottom be a 10 pixel and the left or right be a 7, 0 pixel, I think, yes. Yeah, for now it's good. Uh, text aggression be a none to remove uh, text aggression on the line of this. There we go. Now copy this uh, name CSS and uh, paste it again. Now let's create a hover. In the front, let me create over. Okay, now open a bracket inside it. Uh, let's pick a color B uh, at the same color B uh, hashtag A C D D D. Okay, and let not forget of the effect. Uh, let's go back and add a transition for the effect. And the BLS once again. Good and done. Next is icon. Now, first of all, let all icon be the same line. Call the social in CSS and press enter. Now, just a type of display flex, and it's enough. No need for new code. Good. Now, how to call icon in a CSS to add a call and a border? Just, uh, just type a footer first or a social. Then it will be the same. Let me call it a footer first. And next, I type ion icon. And the next, type ion icon. And now open a bracket. Press enter. Uh, good. Now, instead of width and the height, add the font size. It works. It will be the same, but I think the font size is better. Let me add the font size. It will be a 1 uh, 6 rem. Font size 1 6 rem. Good. And the color be a little dark and not uh, too white, little darker. No, that's not good. Uh, that, okay, this is good. Let me add the same uh, this. Yeah, this good. Okay. Now uh, let. Okay, now okay. Let add the border. Now add the border. Press enter. V two pixel. Solid. And the same color be a white, okay. Okay, border values be 15% to be a circle, not a square. Good. Now let's add the padding 10 pixels for have a nice circle. Finish it, okay. And a little, okay, little distance to add it. Uh, let me add a margin. Zero pixel for the top and the bottom, and uh, ten pixel for the left and right. Just uh, left and right, every distance. No need the top and the bottom for now. And let's uh, add a hover. Copy this name and paste it. Add the hover. Now open a bracket. Now let's uh, color be this. Let's add a transition to uh, an icon. And let me uh, listen once again, and done.
Okay, good. Uh, we uh, oh, I forget about the border. Let me add a border for the hover to be color. Okay, for the two pixel solid and this color, not the white. Good. And let's add a margin, a little margin for the icon. Or let, first, let me add a margin of the A, a be a little. Not a 10 pixel, be a 5 pixel, I think is good. Yeah, it's good 5 pixel. And uh, for the icon, for the top and left, uh, top and the bottom, be uh, I think 5 pixel is good. Let me add a 5 pixel. Okay, good, yes, 5 pixel is good. Okay, we finish the first footer. Now let's go to the second footer. And next footer, let me call it in a CSS. Just add a padding uh, for it. Next footer, let me call it in a CSS uh, footer second. And let's just uh, add the padding 10 pixel for now. Now add a display flex and the flex wrap to be a wrap. Let add the same just for content be a center and a line item be a center. Will be a hundred percent or not get an error in some cases. Let be a hundred percent use it with okay, okay done uh, and okay good uh, we add it. Now let me uh, add a quick color uh, for this uh, H4 of the footer's account of the school. Okay, let me just type it. Uh, I copy this uh, footer font. Yes, I can add a color. Yeah. Mm, uh, let uh, let the color be this, and the font size be one or two run. I think it's enough and the uh, font weight be a five, uh, 15, uh, 500 rem and let's add a distance to the bottom margin bottom and a percenter and 20 pixel good now let's uh, call it cool in a CSS cool open a bracket just add a margin uh, B 15 pixel is enough and if you want, you can add a little width for nice, but I don't think we need it. Just uh, add a margin, and let be the same. Okay, now the last, uh, now okay, now the last thing. Let's add the some uh, same uh, font size and the color for the link. Uh, let me uh, type it cool uh, U L L I A. Now open a bracket. You can copy it, the the font size and the font weight. Now the color be uh, hashtag F one F one F one. Text decoration be an on. Let me add the margin button be a twenty pixel. Good. Okay, good. Now let's add the hover to finish it. Just uh, copy the name and uh, paste it. Now let's add the hover to finish it to copy and uh, name and uh, paste it uh, first. But uh, instead, let's add the color and uh, transform it uh, to make it beautiful. First, the uh, color be this, the same color, and the transform translate Y. And color be uh, this and uh, transform uh, translate y be a 10 pixel to go down. Let's add the transition uh, less than one second and uh, done. Oh, I think it not work and uh, why uh, it doesn't have a distance of the margin. Uh, however, it does not work, I think. F first, let me. Uh, Okay, um, let uh, instead of a margin add a padding for the bottom. Again, not work. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't work for the margin pa padding. Instead, let me, I don't know, let me add uh, line height. I think line height did work. That height and let be 20 pixel or more, uh, 13 pixel more. 
13, yeah, more. Okay, this good. Yeah, this good. Now about the hover. Uh, now about the hover, I think uh, we uh, we set uh, no. We set uh, the hover doesn't work. I I will tell you next uh, courses how to fix it. But let me finish now this course and now. Yeah. I think I will learn the next courses. Now, uh, yes, we done it. Now, I hope you enjoy it. In this uh, tutorial, we end off this website. All of this, and the color, and the header, and the uh, about page, blog page, and the contact page, and the content. We done it, all of them. Just a max width to end of this uh, tutorial. And I see you in the next lesson. And if you love our teaching, and if you love our teaching and our video, watch our next video and more of it in the next lesson. We we'll learn how to create a max width for the tablet and phone as, uh, for the next uh, tutorial and the last last of the tutorial. And the last lesson, okay. See you in the next lesson. Bye.